meeting of the J League's two geographic extremes. Its most northerly club, Hokkaido Contadole Sapporo, meets the one from further south. A 3,000 kilometre round trip for Sagan Tosu and its fans. Hello and welcome, I'm Dan O'Hagan. Today in the Sapporo Dome, two clubs poles apart on the map, but united by a current lack of form. Concert winless in J1 for over two months, and Sagan Tosu defeated in their last three League and Cup matches in J1. They've lost three of their last four games played. Well, there are the home ultras in fine voice before kickoff today. This is J League match day number 23 of the season. Into its second portion now, and these sides had a one all draw in June at Sagantosu, in which Toya Nakamura scored at both ends in that one all draw. In the League Cup here back in April, Sapro won by four goals to one. Sagantosu have won just once in their last nine games here across all competitions down the years. It is a long time since Sapra won a game in the J-League. June the 3rd, a remarkable 5-4 win away to Kashiwa Reysol. They are a team who on home turf have really struggled so far this season. And there those fans have made that 3,000 kilometer round trip to cheer on their team. Away from uh, Kyushu down in the south here to Hokkaido, Japan's most, most northerly island. Behind their team, Sagantosu, who are perennial punches above their weight in J1. It's their 12th successive season at the top table of Japanese football. And again, this season in more than solid mid table. It is time to hold the scarves high and to get behind their teams. Ahead of kickoff in the Sapporo Dome. Seventy days since Konsa last won a J1 match. They are the league's great entertainers. Their games have witnessed an average nearly four goals a game. That's more than any other clubs this season. They score lots but concede plenty, and that's been their Achilles heel. Can Sagantosu profit from what is J1's second worst defensive record in the current season? And Sagantosu do travel fairly well. They've won four times in their ten away matches this season. Wins at Kyoto Sanga, Ural Reds. Yokohama FC and Shonan Balmare so far. Can they add Hokkaido Contadole Sapporo to their list of away wins in the current J1 season? Sapporo do have the third worst home record of the clubs in J1 this season. They've lost their last three home league games as well. Last weekend they were beaten heavily at Kashima Antlers by three goals to nil. Second Tosu's last game, a home loss. 1-0 to Avispa Fock Walker last Sunday in the J-League. Game where both teams will want to turn the form corner given their recent runs of unconvincing displays. Today, a chance to get back on track. And so, team news for the home club. Koki Otani remains in goal with the first choice Takanori Sugeno injured with a calf problem. From Sunday's loss at Kashima Antlers, there are two changes. Akito Fukumori comes in for Seiya Baba in midfield. In attack, a recall today for Yuki Kobayashi. Only a fourth start this J1 season 
and no goal since March in the two-all draw away against Gamba Osaka. They are the league's great entertainers this season, Hokkaido Consadole Sapporo. And the officials led by the referee Hajime Matsu for this one. As always, we have VAR, and in the booth, watching the monitors, the team of officials led by Hirokazu Abzuma. Park Gi, one of J1's outstanding goalkeepers this season. In front of him, an enforced change at right back, rookie. Yoshiki Narahara's second J1 start, with Wataru Harada forced off in defeat to Avispa Fukuoka last week. The coach, Kenta Kawai, is also missing Yuji Ono. His absence means a rare start for the New York-born striker Keiman Togashi. In total, for Sagantosu, there are just two team changes for this game tonight. Well, the veteran coach, Mihailo Petrovic, now 65 in Japan for the last, what, uh, 17 years. Former Sanfrecci Hiroshima and Urao Reds coach. Well, this is Kenta Kawai's first head coach job in J1. And three years with Ehime in the second division of the J-League. Sagantosu, the magpies, they're called. Team who always attempt to struggle, but always it appears do okay. Again, this season, their 12th successive J1 season in more than solid mid table at this stage of the season, 11th last year, and they finished nine points clear of relegation. They start today 13 points clear of the bottom side, Sean and Belmare. We are set to start. Where we go then with Hokkaido Konstoli Sapporo against Sagan Tosu. This J League match day 23 of the season. And this is Lucas Fernandez for the home team. His cross is straight into the arms of goalkeeper Park Ilgu for Sagan Tosu. Away for them. Here comes a promising counter. The ball from Naganuma. Picked up by Yuto Iwasaki, ex of Konsa. Here to Kikuchi. Well, Sapporo's game so far this season have been chock full of goals. They've in all seen their games uh, have an amazing 84 goals so far, both for and against. An average of almost four goals a game. But the rub is that although they score a lot of goals this season in J1, they have uh, the third best attack, they have the second worst defence, just two clean sheets, they've let in almost two goals a game across the season's 22 rounds before today. There's Park Ilgu, who's been superb for Sagantosu, the goalkeeper this season. Six clean sheets. The chase is on for Togashi. Horigome was sold short, away here by Komai. Another chase on for Yuya Asano for Sapporo. Asano's cross, a little too high, comes back out here to Lucas Fernandes. Asano will try and turn angle here, he's against him. Played back to Shunta Tanaka. Tanaka got their last winning goal in the league match. That was in the last minute of June's 5-4 win away from home in J1. Again, Shonan Balmare. Near the ball out to pick out the run of uh, Asano. And given away by Kito Fukamori. Is Fukumori, one of the two changes to the team for Sapporo today. Last weekend they were really flat in defeat 
away to Kashima Antlers when they gave away two goals from corners. They last week defensively were all over the place at times. They are missing their number one goalkeeper, Takanori Sagenu, who has a calf problem. Kobayashi there getting stuck in. The other change to the 11 today for Mihalo Petrovic. There's Kenta Kawai. 42, the coach of Sagan Tosu. This man far more senior, Mihalo Petrovic. Right here by Yamazaki. Comes though to Fukamori. And given away by. Uh, Tsuyoshi Ogashiwa. And so Kawahara there, maybe one of the finds of this J1 season. You see the stats, he's covered more ground than any other player this season, around seven marathons worth in total. It is his first ever J1 season, playing in the third division only in 2021. Came in from Ruasu Kumamoto this season, he was named in J2's best 11 for last season. And there as well you see Park stats, his save ratio, the best by a long way of the first choice goalkeepers in this season's J1. Here's Iwasaki onto Horigome. Korean Huang Sokho, Tezuka, Narahara, towards uh, Naganuma, Lucas Fernandez blocked, comes here the way of Iwasaki, Iwasaki's cross, maybe a point of proof for Yuto Iwasaki, had a spell here, only made eight appearances though, all from the bench in J1 for Sapporo made the move to join Sagantosu from this club three years ago. One by uh, Daiki Suga for Hokkaido Contadore Sapporo. This game between the league's most northern and most southern clubs in J1. Kawahara. Daiki Suga. Offside the call here. Free kick to the home club. And goal, Koki Otani. Again for uh, Sapporo. Right here by Okamura. Towards the Kobayashi. Asano towards Ogashiwa. Tezuka. Quickly pressed there by Yoshiaki Komai. Huang. Park Il Yu, the goalkeeper, won the title in his time with the Yokohama F. Marinos back in 2019. Missed a single league game though since moving to join Sagantosu. Horigome. Kawahara give, giving the ball away there. It's come to Komai. Now Okamura. Nakamura. Nakamura's given the ball away. Comes here to Horigome. Ball flicked on, it's a, a chance, oh, and somehow Iwasaki doesn't make a clean connection with that. The bounce was maybe awkward for him, but it's the game's first big opening for Sagantosu. And Yuto Iwasaki, who hasn't scored a goal for 13 months in J1, versus his former side with a point to prove. The ball came his way here, and just that bounce there, I think, deceived him.
be the first glimpse there too of Hokkaido Contadole Sapporo's defensive weakness this season. That cross gave them problems. Corners were their uh, bugbear last week at Kashima Antlers. Two of the three goals came from corner kicks last Sunday. Played by uh, Nakamura. He scored the goals at both ends in the team's meeting back in June. In Tosu, here is Lucas Fernandez. Lucas Fernandez driving on. Tanaka has stumbled. Now it's with Komai for Daiki Suga. Suga, great ball. Lucas Fernandez against the arm. Now appeals though here again is Taichi Kikuchi. Was in, I think, a, a fairly natural position by the side. Okamura. Tanaka, Kobayashi, Kobayashi's cross, it's just over the head of Ogashiwa. Neatly done here for Horigome, has options too, right and left, Horigome. The shot blocked by Nakamura. at a, a fair tempo so far in these first 10 minutes. Yuki Horigome. By uh, Tsuyoshi Ogashiwa, who has called this game Ogashiwa must win for the team. They have won a, a league game now for 70 days, six matches in the form table. They are the most out of form team in J1 at the moment. Numa's cross wins the game's first corner here for Sagantosu. Sagantosu are bossing the ball so far. Possession in the first 10 minutes, 57%. As I say, last week, corners where it all fell apart in Kashima for Contadole Sapporo. Two of the three goals came from these situations. On this corner, it is Sokawahara. For Sagantosu. And they learned the lessons from last week's shortcomings. In back Kawahara. Just came Huang's where it's back out towards the corner taker here. Kawahara for Togashi. By Lucas Fernandez. Kobayashi pokes it out towards the Brazilian Lucas Fernandez. Stays alive as well here with him. Faced up by uh, Kohai Tezuka. He fouls his opposite number. He's found a home here, really, Lucas Fernandez uh, with Sapporo. He has been here now for five seasons. Native Brazil had an amazing eight clubs in the space of five years before the move out to play in Japan. Kobayashi, lovely pass. This is Daiki Suga. Suga, well marshaled there by uh, the relative rookie right back, number 27, Yoshiki Narahara. Today for the injured uh, Wataru Harada. It's only Narahara's second ever start in J1, his first since April. And the home win over FC Tokyo. And again, Suga is up against a very, very able left wing back in the Sapporo system. Tezuka. Here's uh, Narahara. Sokawahara. Too high there for Horigome. Horigome 30 now, but the bulk of his career spent playing at uh, J2 level. Joined from uh, Jeff United of Chiba a couple of years ago. Tanaka, very much a one club man for Hokkaido Contadole Sapporo. Nakamura, Nakamura shot, it's 
straight at goalkeeper Park. Who quickly here releases Naganuma. Sent to Togashi, a potential target. Again, here's Sagan Tosu moving the ball well, and it's up towards Togashi. A few players uh, beat Okamura in the challenge this season. Okamura, really the number 50, is a, a real tackling monster for Sapporo. The chase on for Kobayashi. Centre is trying to find Ogashiwa. We will come Tezuka now for Sagantosu. Kikuchi. The Komai brought down. I mentioned the, the tackling stats of Okamura. This season, an amazing. Uh, dual success rate of 80% in the current season. He's also in the league the fifth most successful player in terms of winning headed challenges. It's a Kobayashi. All stays in play here, it's with Naganuma. On to Horigome. The play is called back for the free kick. Despite Sagantosu's uh, mid-table position, they are a team who don't make many chances. No team take fewer shots than they do across the entire J-League of 18 clubs. They have the lowest XG data in the entire division. But they do, when the chances come, tend to take them. Here is their coach, Kawai, observing this free kick for his team, which will be taken by, imagine here, Tezuka. So there is uh, Kawahara. In here by Tezuka. By the head of Tanaka. Yuya Asano. Kawahara for Taichi Kikuchi. Kikuchi's ball through here. It's Iwasaki in on goal right across the face. And Togashi there was millimetres away from connecting to give Sagantosu the opening goal of the evening. One ball here to really bisect that Sapporo defence, which has been so porous this season. And came on Togashi in a rare start. Couldn't quite get the touch to get the game's first goal. And Togashi's uh, third start of the J1 season. In attack today, there is uh, no Yuji Ono, who is injured. Okamura. He's going to break behind for a goal kick. I mentioned uh, Tosu have the lowest XG in the league, expected goals. They do their punch well above their weight in terms of that uh, data. They've scored this season. At eight goals more than their XG says they should, so they are a very efficient team in front of goal. When they get their openings, which aren't too many, they tend to put them away. There is Togashi. Touch on there from uh, Ogashiwa. Now Daiki Suga. Kobayashi. There's the giveaway. It's come to Iwasaki for second Tosu for Horigome. Togashi chasing. Born in New York, uh, Togashi. Came to Japan at the age of six as a Japanese father, an American Turkish mother. Player who spent years and years playing in J2 Togashi, brought in this season from uh, Vigalta Sendai of the second tier. Second tosser do tend to do their shopping in the lower leagues, they've done that to good effect this season. We've mentioned the impressive stats of uh, Sokawahara there, number five in midfield, and also at the back, uh, 
Kozuki Yamazaki's been ever present since coming in from second tier Montelio Yamagata this season. The recruitment's been, as always, Sakantosu, really first rate in terms of players from Japan's lower divisions. And against uh, Sokawahara, who's not missed a single minute of the J League campaign. Lucas Fernandez, back now to Shunta Tanaka. Okamura. Tani has been his whole career really a backup goalkeeper for a variety of clubs. Urao Red Diamonds, maybe most significantly. Togashi, Kawahara, now Narahara. The steal here by Nakamura, who will drive on. It's Nakamura still. No way through. Narahara made his debut against Sapporo in the J League Cup in February of last year. It is, as I say, first J1 start only in April against FC Tokyo. Tosin may be guilty of overplaying things at the back. They've given away a fairly cheap throw in. It's back with Nakamura. Oh, Yoshiaki Komai. Shunta Tanaka. Nakamura. Ball in here. It's Ogashiwa. Ogashiwa. Five goals scored and five assisted so far. There was a flag here. It wouldn't have counted. The man who's called this game must win for Hokkaido Contadore Sapporo with an opening, but we'll see here just to half metre maybe beyond the line of blue. He is quick. J League's uh, seventh most rapid player in J1 this season, uh, Tsuyoshi Ogashiwa with a shoulder problem late in the game at uh, Kashima Antlers last week. In terms of the game's possession, it's uh, more even now. 48% for the home team and 52 for Sagatosu. Come down in the last 10 minutes significantly. One or two signs of the home team have begun to settle, maybe. It certainly is the, the more difficult recent run of form. A J1 win for 70 days, two months. June the third, the last time they won all three points in a game in J1. They've had uh, one cup win in that time. And the chase on for the rapid Ogashiwa. He has a chance to really look at his pace the game there with 14 goals in 60 career J1 matches here he is back to Tanaka Kobayashi Kobayashi again Kobayashi shots he's rising here from the former international for Japan eight caps one goal for Yuki Kobayashi put in this season from Vissel Kobe but hasn't really his place as a regular starter. Not yet, anyway. The shot clears the bar from Kobayashi. Fukumori. Komai. Kobayashi. Daiki Suga. Kobayashi, Ogashiwa, Ogashiwa still. Ogashiwa's cross blocked. 
taken by Kawahara. All given away here to Fukamori. Fukamori went viral last week in Japan with a video showing a free kick he took and scored in training session for Sapporo. He's one of J1's best free kick takers, the number five, the captain today for Sapporo. His career, an astonishing 15 direct free kick goals for Akita Fukamori. Nakamura for Daihachi Okamura. Wang Sokho. South Korea won Olympic bronze in London 11 years ago. Throw for Sapporo here for Komai, who's battled back well after a cruciate knee ligament tear last October. Came back in April and really is come back in like he's never been away. Lucas Fernandez. Kawahara for Wang. Yamazaki. Kikuchi. Now Tanaka. Kobayashi. I don't know if he was pulled back there, and referee agrees that he was. Fell by Kohai Tezuka. Lucas Fernandez. Good work here by him. Lucas Fernandez still. He's got the ball in. All given away here. It's come to Fukamori with a shot. Well, here they really feel there was a foul. Second toss who play went on, but they certainly make their feelings known to the officials. with the puck. Kikuchi. Yamazaki. Well, can they play through the press here? Second toss, they have to really. It's come to Narahara. Still in their own defensive third. Now to Kozuki Yamazaki. As I say, one of those finds from the second division this season for Sagantosu. It's Kawahara. Horigome. Sagantosu's best ever finish in the J League was uh, fifth place on two occasions, 2012 and 14. Okashiwa for Shunta Tanaka. Lucas Fernandez, Tanaka in. Second torso standing firm. All their six clean sheets this season, the three have come away from home. For second Tosu. Okamura. Tani's clearance was uh, rather shin there, the goalkeeper. It's Lucas Fernandez. He's going to get the free kick. And I think uh, feels he was caught maybe rather late there in the challenge by Kikuchi. Now, 
think the shin is what is uh, hurting here for Lucas Fernandez. Well, the break will give the two coaching teams a chance to maybe get one or two instructions on. Well, unlike uh, many of Sapporo's games this season, one of very few chances, very few openings uh, in the first, what, 28 and a bit minutes. And Kikuchi comes across to apologise to Lucas Fernandez, which is always, of course, good to see. But his team need a win, that's for sure. The charge here now since 2018. Mihailo Petrovic. This season saw their best ever J1 finish of fourth place. They finished 10th in three of the last four seasons, and including last season. Not been really a yo-yo club since their J1 debut back in 1998, Sapporo. Since 97, they've had an astonishing four relegations and five promotions, uh, both to and from J1. Here's Nakamura. For Okamura. Tani, as I say, he's had his whole career really as, in essence, a backup goalkeeper, Otani. Only today, his 29th game in J1. On the chase here is Asano. With Lucas Fernandez. Asano for the Brazilian. Lucas Fernandez blocked. He'll try again here. Oh, Asano helps him out. To Yoshiaki Komai. Kobayashi. Tanaka, his best ever scoring season in all competitions, 4 3 in J1 in the current campaign. Here's uh, Tanaka. Iwasaki. Chase on for Nakamura here, but well covered by Narahara. And despite his lack of experience so far, he's doing a very good job at right back in his first half for Sagantosu. Certainly, uh, Watada Harada, the injured regular starter, is very much the first choice in that position for Kenta Kawai. See there, the possession stats are even closer now. Of shots just being edged by Sagantosu. This is Togashi. Retrieved though by Ogashiwa. Kobayashi for Lucas Fernandez. Lucas Fernandez with the cross, which is blocked and cleared away by Sagantosu. Yashi. Little give and go here, it's towards Asano. The ball in, he tamed from uh, football, not really shot, not really a pass there from the captain. Well, they have kept Atani's goal fairly well protected so far in this first half for uh, Arcaido Contadole Sapporo. Komai. Single strike on target so far for the away team. Now we are in the game's 33rd minute. Here's Lucas Fernandez. Here's the familiar system this season for Sapporo. The back three and the very uh, highly pushed wing backs. In today's case, uh, on the left hand side to Suga, the right Lucas Fernandez. 
Here is Okamura. Fukamori. Nakamura. Well worked here. In the end away by Yamazaki, but retrieved again by Sapporo. Who do clearly miss Takura Kaneko, the player they allowed to move on loan to Croatian side Dinamo Zagreb in July. He really was for Sapporo an absolute key this season, involved in 12 of their league goals, scoring eight, assisting four. Now they're to move on loan to Croatia to try his luck in the European game. He has left certainly a big hole to fill for Sapporo. Hasn't scored a single goal without him yet in League or Cup. Played by goalkeeper Park. Just two points across the last six matches in the league for Sapporo. Scored four and let in 12 across that time. That's how Park came to damage. Tosses seasons uh, really evened out now. They are, as I say, 10th uh, in mid-table at the moment. They've been as high as 8th, as low as 16th in the current campaign. It's a season, of course, where only one team will be relegated. That's uh, because of the league's expansion by two clubs for next season. It will be a 20-team J1. It's Fukumori. It's Komai. Shunta Tanaka. Kamura. The team's next games come uh, a week today with Sapporo away at uh, Kyoto Sanga. Saka Tosu also on the road against uh, Kashima Antlers. Here by Lucas Fernandez to Naganuma. He's been quite so far on that right hand side. Not seen much of and enjoying his best ever scoring season. Six goals in J1 this season for Yoichi Naganuma. Former Sanfrecce Hiroshima wide player. It's on here towards uh, Keiman Togashi. Naganuma. Three here in the way, so that'll mean uh, a restart and a, a drop ball. of the first half and goalless there is uh, Yuto Iwasaki oh it's Kikuchi Kikuchi the cross from Kawahara oh hang the captain there for Sagantosu missed the season's first three months with uh, a broken foot, the dreaded metatarsal injury. It does give that defensive line a real air of calm. Alongside the relative J1 rookie, as I say, in Yamazaki. Kawahara. Kawahara here will drive on. Kawahara still. See why no players covered more ground than he has in J1 in the current season. He is uh, really perpetual motion, the number five here for Sagantosu. As he was playing third division football as recently as 2021. Yamazaki.
Well, Park, out of his goal, has given the ball away. Here's Nakamura, can they punish the goalkeeper? It's up towards the rapid Ogashiwa. Well, Park there went walkabout and almost paid a heavy price for it, he still might. Here's Kobayashi. Here with uh, Kamura. For Kamori up to Nakamura for Sapporo. Daiki Suga. Toya Nakamura. Tanaka. Now on uh, Komai. Quick free kick to Kobayashi might be fruitful. Ahead Suga. Kobayashi shot, punched away by Park. Komai. Kobayashi into a Sano. And certainly a half in which we've seen the home team grow into it. They've had. Uh, the more numerous strikes on target, they are now back to, in possession terms, level pegging, 50-50. After a slow start, and seeing maybe Hokkaido, Contadori, Sapro begin to find their way in today's match. Here's Nakamura. Into Fukamori. And given away, it's come to Kawahara. It's the chasing Iwasaki, but... Ball through to Koki Atani. Nakamura. Okomai for Sapporo. To Ogashiwa. And a chase on here for Sugren. Again, the goalkeeper comes from his goal to play the outfielder. Not lacking belief on the ball, does he, uh, Park Hill Gu? Japanese born of uh, DPR career heritage. The ball again here. His first choice is the Yokohama F Marinos 1J1. What, four years ago now? Here's Tanaka. To Komai for Fukamori. Suga. Kobayashi. Expansive towards Komai. And the deflection breaks away of Asano! And Asano is 11 League and Cup games goalers, enjoying though still his best ever J1 scoring season. Has scored now for 85 days in the top flight, and that was a really good chance to break that goalless run for him. Deflection here came out to Asano, who couldn't quite squeeze the ball inside Park's post. Didn't miss by much. As you watch the German Bundesliga, might. Uh, Recognise him from his uh, brother's uh, similarity, Takuma, who plays in Germany with uh, Varofel Borchum. Here's a Komai. Or Okamura. Kobayashi. Ambitious driven ball here, Suga will chase it. Won't reach it. No question the home team are the ones who are finishing the first half the stronger. Only Yokohama FC have faced more shots than uh, Park's uh, Sag and Tosso have in the current season. They do let you have openings, but normally Park is in the way to intervene. They've let in seven goals fewer than their XG says they should. That's down mainly in part to uh, Park's excellence in goal for Sagantoso this season. Let him 27, the XG says they should have let him 34. Hello card here for the Hachi Okamura. 
Marlborough's challenge on uh, Kohai Tezuka will earn the game's first yellow card. It is Okamura's uh, third of the season. Reminded that in J1, four yellow cards equates to a one-match suspension. So Dolus of the 45, still a minute and a half left to play before added time. Not been too many breaks in play. It's maybe the longest. So Okamura's yellow card confirmed. Free kick here for Sagan Tosu. In by So Kawahara. Tezuka, Fukumori up here to Ogashiwa. Going by Nakamura, it's uh, Fukumori. He was sold short and had to make the challenge, and he's hurting doing so it's come here to Kawahara for Kikuchi Iwasaki Kikuchi Kawahara's lost out here comes Lucas Fernandez meanwhile off the ball for Komori has stayed down for Sapporo he was given a what they used to call a hospital pass he had to challenge for it In doing so he has paid a heavy price To now the first of two additional minutes here he was given an awful ball and had to go in for this one with uh, Huang and maybe just jarred the knee in doing so then for the game's first goal. First half additional time in the Sapporo Dome on J-League match day 23 of the league's 30th anniversary season. Second toss, it may be outside of Japan, best known as the last club of Fernando Torres's career. Had two years in Tosu, 2018-2019. Zaki. Sano. Kobayashi. Okashiwa. Komai. Komai. Asano. Asano tenacious as he always is. Back here to. He now recovered Fukumori. Tanaka. Fukumori. Shunta Tanaka. Mori and Kobayashi are involved late in the half for Sapporo. Second Tosu still defensively standing firm. Near the end of the indicated uh, two minutes. That's Tanaka for Lucas Fernandez. Tanaka, Kobayashi, Fukumori towards Suga. Well, half-time in the Sapporo Dome, a game of few chances so far. I'd say the home team have had maybe the more numerous strikes towards Park's goal in that first half, but a team whose games have seen more goals than any others so far in this J1 season are for once at half-time in a game which has not really, in terms of chances and goals, come to life as yet. As the teams depart here at the half-time break at the Sapporo Dome, the sides here are locked level and goalless on J League match day 23. Half time score here it is Hokkaido, Contadole, Sapporo nil, Sagantosu nil.
Welcome back from me, Dan O'Hagan. Halftime here in Sapporo. Goal is between the home club Hokkaido Consadori Sapporo and Sagan Tosu on J League match day 23 of the season. A game where we've not seen too many clear chances so far. There'll be a change here at half time. We're going to see uh, coming on for Sagan Tosu Akito Fukuta, who is ostensibly. Uh, a central midfield play. He's coming on here, replacing the left back Kikuchi, which may well mean a maybe a formation change or certainly a shift in personnel in those defensive positions for Kenta Kawai. Didn't see an injury in that first half to Kikuchi, but the change is made with uh, Fukuta on. Coming on for his 13th J1 appearance of the current season. There's a player closing in on the club, so all-time top 10 appearance makers over the years. Joined the club from Shunan Balmare in 2021. Also had spells with uh, Alburex Nigata. But he's on for the second half for Sagantosu. Who will be the team who will start the second half. Off we go then for the second half. Goal is here between Hokkaido, Consadori Sapporo and Sagantosu. But a game which certainly towards the end of the half saw the home team begin to maybe find their feet and make one or two openings. Don't forget uh, Sapporo's games have seen 84 goals across their uh, league matches before today, but nothing at either end in this one so far, which in a Sapporo game is highly unusual this season where they've been so open but so exciting to watch in J1. Here a, a miscontrol by Tsuyoshi Ogashiwa. It's been taken by the player brought on at half-time here, Akito Fukuta. Did score in the cup loss to second-tier Oroaso Kumamoto. A few weeks ago is uh, Naganuma. He had a very quiet first half on that right hand side. Komai here to rob him. To Ogashiwa. Nakamura. Suga. She was notable pace, but alert to the danger there was Wang. teams normally produce goals, only ever been two goalless meetings when these sides have locked horns across all competitions. Here's uh, Horigome. Horigome, good pass and a good challenge from Lucas Fernandez. They will get a corner, I think, here, Sagantosu, which is not what Lucas Fernandez uh, saw that as being. Ball in behind to release 
Arahara. goalless meetings came this season, a goalless draw in Tosu back in March in the J-League Cup. Sapporo's only goalless league match was back on match day one in February when they went to Sanfrecce Hiroshima and were held to a nil-nil draw. They have had some crazy games this season, Sapporo. Here is Horigome for Sagan Tosu. Horigome. Lucas Fernandez back to goalkeeper Koki Otani. This season they've had a 5 4 win away at Kashiwa Race Soul. They've had a 4 2 win at Shonan Belmare. There's been a 5 2 cup win over fourth tier Verspa Oita as well. They have had games where goals have come thick and fast, Sapro, but not today so far. Second Tosu, the ball into Togashi. Fukuta. Tezuka. Here will come Okamura for Nakamura for Sapporo. Okashiwa, who works really hard for the cause. To Kobayashi and now the break is Nakamura's in behind here Nakamura on a plate the opening goal Yuya Asano for Sapporo well he was on his season's longest goalless run 11 league and cup matches but goalless no more enjoying his best ever J1 scoring season Yuya Asano to open the scoring in tonight's game in the Sapporo Dome was a wonderful counter-attack here, the through ball, Fukamori for Nakamura. Now, was he onside, I wonder, when the ball was played? He got the ball across, and Asano there to do the rest and get the game's opener for Hokkaido Consadole Sapporo. His first goal for 85 days. Nine now for the J1 season for Yuya Asano. And is this where they break their six-league game winless run? No league win since June the 3rd, but that check for offside is ongoing. It was close. Nakamura played through by Fukamori now. Did he run too soon? Goal is good. It is Asano to make the difference and Sapporo lead by one goal to nil. Nakamura, who scored at both ends in the meeting in June, and with the assist for Asano in this one. On the line here for Naganuma. It supports Naganuma for Kuta. Played by Okamura. Tezuka. Iwasaki. It really where they finished the first half, Sapporo, with very much the initiative. Now they need to go with it. Wrong by Nakamura. It was his first assist of the current J1 season. Quang. Fukuta. Komai for Daiki Suga. To 
just one defeat in their last nine home games against Sagantos in all competitions, uh, Sapporo. It's a good-looking ball towards uh, Togashi, who went in late on Okamura. Apologises, but the damage is done, and the card is coming here for Keiman Togashi, which makes it one yellow card each. Just the follow-through to catch uh, Okamura. Kashi's uh, first yellow card of this J1 season. Two teams really in that mid-table limbo at this point of the season. A concern here over Okamura's health. It was a heavy connection there as Togashi. It was a challenge for the ball, but just couldn't stop himself as he as he followed through. And Okamura has been such an important defensive player. And I think here the referee is just talking on the headset, maybe about the nature of that challenge. Always, of course, a chance it could be an upgrade to a red, but I don't think that'll be the case on this occasion. Wasn't an open boot, an open sole from the challenge by Togashi. Momentum which carried him through to the connection. And there you see a very warm embrace and an apology. Well, no doubt that the fans in Sapporo among the most passionate fans in J1, the only club on the and of Hokkaido in uh, J1, very much the region's flag bearers in the Japanese top flight. Here's Fukamori to uh, Ogashiwa Kobayashi. Komai Tanaka. Sano sprints away, goalkeeper hesitates. Gets there in the end park. Oh, no, 17 sheet of park season, and this man put pay to that. Yuya Asano. It's Fukamori. Shunta Tanaka. Lucas Fernandez, Fukamori. Towards Asano again. Here's uh, Tanaka. Pressure stays on uh, Sagan Tosowitz with Fukamori. Cross there is overhit. Cut off the second half already, uh, 10 minutes. Sapro's position has improved since the restart. A change here. We're going to see uh, this is Ayumu Yokoyama coming on to make a, a start for the club. Born in Tokyo, they brought in this season from third tier, Matsumoto Yamaga. This will be his uh, sixth game in J1 from the bench. He has had a, a rapid rise. His uh, father Hiratoshi, a former J-League midfielder. But again, one of those players that Sagantosu picked up in the divisions do that business so well year in year out to find players who go on to have really good J League careers here by uh, Fukuta on the throw in eventually just pinched a good few meters there uh, Fukuta Quang, or goalkeeper Park. All lost by uh, Narahara, could be expensive that uh, turnover. The chase on for Asano, who will get the better here of Wang. Kawahara. Zaki. Tonka 
Nashi lost out. Here's uh, Lucas Fernandez for Sapporo, but well stopped there by Narahara. Sokawahara. Lovely through ball here now for Naganuma. And they do here, Sagantosu. Naganuma cleverly done. Really good play. But Tanaka there to make sure that door stays bolted for Sapporo. Naganuma, when he gets going, is a real bag of tricks for Sagantosu. Kobayashi will chase again. The goalkeeper comes a long way from his goal. He really is the, the archetypal sweeper keeper, isn't he, Park? It's Kawahara again. The pass is well measured, well weighted, but this one slid away by Komai. Can Sagantosu find a way through here? They're playing against the J League's, uh, J -League's second worst defence this season in uh, Sapporo. Komai. Able to come a long way here, Komai. This near side, uh, Suga's made a terrific run. It's Lucas Fernandez. Yamazaki, though, for Sagantosu, who they themselves say can look to maybe build a counter-attack, but again the turnover, it's come to Fukamori. Tanaka. Tanaka's ball forward, it's going to be retrieved, though, here by Huang. Uh, our mark in Sapporo. This now is uh, Ogashiwa. Back to Tanaka. Obayashi, the centre Asano is there. The cross instead here now to Nakamura. Nakamura's cross, and the header is looping. This one's looping too high from uh, Asano. Nakamura and Tanaka, the wide centre-backs, love to get forward. It was Nakamura who made the goal for Asano, but the way they play, Tanaka and Nakamura do get forward from their centre-back positions with real regularity and good effect. Here is the middle centre-back, Okamura, well forward. Nakamura for Suga. Kobayashi. Ashes cross, it's all wrong. Kawahara, fabulous find from the second division. Up to Ruaso, Kumamoto promotion uh, from the third division. And then, uh, with them last season, named in the best 11 for the entire second division. Uh, Naganuma, who has got the free kick for Sagantosu. It's the second of back-to-back -back away games, away to Kashima Antlers next weekend, before home games against Gamba Osaka and uh, Sanfrecce Hiroshima. Goalkeeper, it's uh, come here to uh, Nakamura. Now Kobayashi has support. And then he's got uh, Ogashiwa, who will use now. Nakamura. This is 
Lisa Komai. A little wriggle here from Komai. Looking to combine here with Tanaka. Sano. Kobayashi. And Nakamura's pass was completely wasted for Sapporo. They have beyond the next game away at uh, Kyoto Sanga, then back-to-back -back home matches. Uh, Kawasaki Frontale and Gamba Osaka come here. Komai. Lucas Fernandez, Nakamura. On here for Shunta Tanaka for Asano again. It's a wasted opportunity on that far side. Tanaka and he picked out a better pass. It was almost a tap in for Asano in the middle. They have had, you'd say, so far today, Sapro far more cutting edge in the game's first hour and three minutes. Kobayashi. Sano. Back in April, the sides met here in the J League Cup and Sapporo won by four goals to one. Both had much changed teams in that game. Teams do tend to rotate plenty for the, the J League Cup competition. Be a handball spotted here against Lucas Fernandez. This would be three losses in the row in J1 for Kenta Kawai and a second Tosu. Be a run of uh, four defeats in five in all competitions as well. Kawahara. Never a team who would tip to challenge for the J1 title, Sagan Tosu. to manage a single shot on target in the game's first 65 minutes. As they've come four shots wide or high of the mark. Okamura. Kobayashi, good turn here by Ogashiwa. Kobayashi, poked away by uh, Fukuta. Hori Gomi, who's had a very quiet second half so far. That pass, not the best. And there to combine with uh, Yokoyama. I mentioned in the first half how the goalkeeper, uh, Otani, hasn't, uh, despite his age 34, got too much J-League experience. That was the top two leagues only today. At 34, his 127th league appearance time number two or three goalkeeper at the Ural Red Diamonds. Tanaka, flag stays down. They're in again here to double their money, and they have it to Sano, wide of the target. And will they look back on that chance and think what might have been if Sagatosu come back into it? No flag, it would have counted here for a second goal for Yuya Asano. Kobayashi. Oh, the chase on for Ogoshiwa. team who really love to take players on to run with the ball before this round of matches uh, their players had attempted more dribbles than any other team 50 more than any other team in J1 players who when they get the ball love to try and take on opponents with it here 
with uh, goalkeeper Park. Paul Park driven up here now to combine with uh, Togashi. It's Horigome. Narahara. Horigome. Can they here fashion their first shot on target? The game's first three quarters. Here is a Yamazaki now for Huang. Fukuta. Kamai being pressured by Narahara. Flick on here, just uh, fall their way, and on the chase, Nakamura. Now comes Park to get the ball away from Man who scored at both ends of the meeting back in June. And Tosu. Two of his three goals have come in his senior career at the expense of Sagatosu uh, Nakamura. Here comes a double change for the away team. Coming on here, we're going to see uh, Jun Nishikawa as well as Atsushi Kawata. Both are very much attacking players. Togashi and Tezuka, the players off. So in Tezuka's case, certainly they've taken off a more defensive player here for an attacker in Nishikawa. For the home team, off will go Kobayashi, replaced here by the Thai international. Here's a super chock, super chock Sarachat. Kobayashi's work is done. by Otani. Ogashiwa. Asano. Asano's cross for Daiki Suga. He has chipped in with the usual three goals. The ball stays in play here by the corner flag. Three goals this season for Daiki Suga. He's scored though since uh, a May double. The 5-1 win here over FC Tokyo. Sano, his goal is the difference. Because Fernandez in, cleared. Horigome, the through ball here, goalkeeper's a long way from goal, Otani, he had to win that and did. And again with a sliding tackle. And Nishikawa, the player just brought on here, tackled midway inside the Sapporo half by the off-limits goalkeeper, Otani, who had to time this one to perfection. Luckily for him, he did. Today, very much enjoying playing out of their penalty area. Is Park doing that now? Park though gives the ball away. It's uh, Okamura, but one back by Sagantosu. This is uh, Horigome. Horigome's ball in. It's up in the air off Tanaka. And now you just feel he's getting more stretched. Sagantosu begin to take risks with that. Extra attacking body on, having withdrawn uh, Tezuke. Kawahara. Fukuta. Wang Sok Ho. One, one back in June when the sides met in Tosu. And south on Kyushu. 
here in Hokkaido. And Sapporo Do is the home team who hold the edge just. Here's Kawata. On for Yokoyama. Yokoyama still good, promising run away though by Nakamura for Hokkaido Contadole Sapporo. Still to force a save. Kofi Otani so far. Sagantoso. Fukuta. Suga. Long by Okamura. Be a foul. Superchok. Well, Superchok Sarachat, player who came in from uh, Buriram of the Thai top division, hasn't found starts to ease to come by in his uh, two seasons in Japan. He's got a, a useful output of goals though this season. Three in J1 despite just four starts. Shunta Tanaka, Daihachi Okamura, Fukumori. Seeing chance to see Fukumori's noted free kick prowess in today's match. See there the game's facts and figures so far. And you can see Tosu, the distance covered, suggests they've been chasing the ball. And it's been the case in the second half where we've seen Sapra really improve after a slow start. Team with 12 shots now across the game's first 75 minutes. It's Narahara for Huang. Tozuki Yamazaki, put on there by uh, Kawata. Fukumori in here to Ogashiwa. Lucas Fernandez, Shunta Tanaka, blocked by goalkeeper Park here though. Here's Lucas Fernandez who takes a tumble. Play goes on for now. Here's Asano. Crossing chance here, maybe. Could be shooting one, it's, it's, it's super chalk. Lost by Okamura. Maybe a handball seen here by the referee against uh, Akito Fukuta. More appeals there for a potential penalty. Lucas Fernandez who went down, but. Clearly, the VAR has decided there's uh, no case to answer. Horigome. Tani, the goalkeeper, to clear. It's Yamazaki. Narahara. Komai. Lucas Fernandez. Fernandez here away from Naganuma behind the Sano if you watch many Sapporo games this season you will not recognize the scoreline here they've not won a single game 1-0 in the current season a team who have been in some bizarre and crazy matches with goals at both ends but not many none have finished 1-0 to them this season Team who can be at times a, a fraction too open. Have to go back to June of last year 
to find uh, Sapporo's last 1-0 league win. That was here against uh, Gamba Osaka with a, a goal from Komai. And ball here against today's goal scorer in the 1-0, Guya Asano. Efficiency in front of goal has been notable. One on target, it's gone in from uh, Yuya Asano. The super chalk. Given away, here comes Yamazaki. Horigome. Lucas Fernandez. Tanaka gets a shove. All there by Ayumu Yokoyama. Say his father Hiratoshi was a noted uh, ex J League midfielder, born in Tokyo. His first goal for the club last month in the J League Cup. He's been capped by Japan to under 20s level. Shiwa, now it's uh, Sano. Komai. Nakamura, a wide from uh, Nakamura. As I say, it's of his three senior goals, two have come against Sagantosu. Coming on here, replacing, uh, as in last week's game, uh, in that left wing back position, uh, Daiki Sugarov and Ryota Aoki coming on in his stead. Aoki who came in from Nagoya Grampus two years ago. As Suga makes way for him. One goal against Alvarex Nigata in the J-League in March. He also scored in the J-League Cup against the Yokohama F Marinos in May of the current season. Also on here for Sagatosu. Number 25, Yuta Fujihara is coming on. He's on now replacing Horigome the last 10 minutes. One of Horigome's more influential games today for Sagantosu. Towards Kawata. Here's Tanaka. for Sagatosu, a third successive J1 loss in a row. No need to panic, though, with only one team going down this season. Began the match day, some 13 points clear of the bottom position, Shonen Belmare. Lucas Fernandez. And the ball through here, super chalk, and the flag's up. It will, of course, go to a check by the VAR, but the on-field call here against Superchok, he's offside. Or was he? I think he was. Superchok Sarachat. I think we'll see this goal disallowed for Sapporo. He'll be in his fourth in the current J1 season. is over it. Not the most difficult call that to say though is indeed offside. Stays at 1-0 for Sapporo. Lucas Fernandez. A space to work in for the Brazilian here. The ball across. Asano chasing it. And Park off his line there to win the ball quickly for Sagantosu. This is uh, Sokawahara. Shikawa. Narahara. Fukuta. This was a, a game which Oshiwa said for his team was uh, must win. The strike partner Asano's got the only goal so far. This was it. 
made by uh, Nakamura. Finishes do not come more inviting nor more simple than that for Yuya Asana's ninth goal of the J-League season. Narahara, Kawahara. Kawahara's in here, and still Kawahara with his first ever goal in the Japanese top flight, and Sagan Tosu a level. Well, to play only seven more minutes, and so Kawahara, maybe their find of this season. Brought in from the second division, a third division player only two years ago. A moment he will never, ever forget. This, his first goal in J1. And we are level, and Kawahara has scored here for Sagantosu to breach that leaky Sapporo defence who just can't keep clean sheets this season. And we are level. by Park, and they win the game now, Sagan Tosun. Here is uh, Lucas Fernandez. Okashiwa. Well, moments after they thought they'd gone 2-0 up with that goal ruled out for offside against Superchok, they go and allow the equaliser. Maybe a free kick against Akito Fukuta. The bulk of his games have come in J3, the Japanese third division. Ogashiwa towards Asano. The loose header away there by uh, Nagaluma, picked up here by Lucas Fernandez, who then stumbled. Tanaka towards Asano. It's Ogashiwa. Aoki. Aoki's cross, too long for Asano. Well, Kawahara's had such remarkable defensive stats this season. In that midfield position, the most distance run, the most defensive blocks in J1. His first goal among the Japanese elite, and certainly a goal he has earned given his season. And his first uh, season at this level, he's been terrific for Sagatosu. Here's Kawahara again. Kawahara's pass. Now the breakaway is led by Superchok. Yuya Asano, Lucas Fernandez, Asano wins a corner. Want to play four minutes. And Sapporo just could not hold on to the lead. They stay there with just the two clean sheets across the season. This is the 23rd match day two, and that lack of clean sheets, that defensive weakness, really has been the undoing of Sapporo in this J1 season. Can they find a winner here? They have a corner to be retaken. Fukumori went down under the challenge. In by Lucas Fernandez. Fukamori's header! Well, he stole a march there on the marking defenders, Akito Fukamori. His last goal in the J League was a free kick in September of last year. Flashing header 
from today's captain, wide of the mark for Hokkaido Consadole Sapporo. Cleared by Park. Up here now to Fujihara. Wins a free kick for Sagantosu. The score. Sapro with their first shot on goal of the match. Here now is Nishikawa. We talk these days about uh, efficiency in attackers and can't knock the stats today. Both with their only shots on target, both have scored. There, one more goal in this game to for one team settle it. Arahara's throw. Back here now with the uh, Yamazaki. You see uh, Seya Baba coming on soon for Sapporo. He is by trade a defensive midfield player. He did start the game last week. He lost at uh, Kashima Antlers. The board there will tell us number five is going to come off, so they'll take off the captain, Fukamori. That was the change to the team today. Uh, Baba left out to make way for Fukamori. This is uh, Fujita. The yellow card uh, flashed here by the referee, and that change will happen now with the armband coming off uh, from Fukamori. So Seya Baba coming on, player uh, they got in this season from uh, second-tier Tokyo Verdi. And Fukumori's last action was to pick up a yellow card, his name was taken that uh, challenge there. We'll see him get the yellow card, his uh, second yellow of the J-League season. And he comes off with uh, Seya Baba coming on. The game's last, what, uh, seconds of normal time and, and the added time to follow. So Baba is on for four additional minutes. So here, a striker in Kim Gun Hee, the South Korean, brought on to be a target man. So Ogashiwa makes way for Kim. This is Fukuta. Lucas Fernandez neatly done to Asano, who was fouled here. Will be a free kick against uh, Huang Sokho. Stoppage time. Can Sapporo find a winner? The last uh, winning goal in the league game did come in, in added time. That was in the 5 4 to Kawasaki Frontale. On June the third, Kamura. Nakamura. It's Yokoyama for Kuta. Baba. Shunta Tanaka. This would be for Sapporo now seven winless J1 matches. Komai. Baba. For Nakamura. Nakamura driving on here for Sapporo and then pull back and will be a yellow card as well. Jun Nishikawa, the latest caution in stoppage time. Uh, quite obvious tripping of uh, Toya Nakamura. From the dead ball here, can Sapporo maybe find one 
last chance to win the match. They would love it. They need it too, given their sticky recent run on the free kick. It's Ryota Aoki. And played in here for Super Chock. Good block by Fukuta. Helped on here now again, it's Asano. Asano pulls it back, and the shot by Tanaka. Tanaka did score their last winning goal in a J1 match back in June. That came in added time. Today, though, not yet anyway. Given away here by Kawata. Tanaka here to lead the charge one last time towards Kim Gun-hee. He looked offside initially, play for now goes on. Kim Gun-hee, on to Aoki and Tanaka. One more chance maybe here, Asano's cross away by Yamazaki. Yokoyama for Sagantosu, who breaks the challenge. Yokoyama, can he win the game here? His shot blocked. These are the game's very last seconds in Sapporo. It's now, I think, time for the yellow card being added on. But no more time. That is the full-time whistle at the Sapporo Dome. It ends here. Another winless game for Hokkaido Contadori Sapporo, who led for a long time in the second half with Yuya Asano's goal. But a first-ever J1 goal from So Kawahara has earned his team Sagantosu a well-earned point here against Sapporo with that leveller in the game's 83rd minute, which means they will take on their longest trip of the season home south a point here from Sapporo. Kawahara with his first ever J1 goal and Kenta Kawai's Sagantosu a draw in a game of few real clear chances. Both teams, when they did get a chance, took it but neither side could find a winning goal in this one today. And Sapporo now seven winless in J1. And one of over two months since they last took all three points from a, a J1 match. And today was not to be their day either. That goal from So Kawahara means it finishes here. Hokkaido Kotsudori Sapporo won, Sagantosu won. Most fans have that longest away trip of the season journey home to Kyushu. But they'll go back uh, infused by how their team fought back to nick a point later on here against Hokkaido Consadole Sapporo. And for So Kawahara, in such, such a wonderful debut season playing in J1 to now get his first J1 goal. And further underline his uh, growing reputation they found, don't forget, playing in the second division with Ruasso Kumamoto. He was in the third division two years ago. And here his goal and Zern Sagantosu a point on their travels against the league's most northerly side, Hokkaido Contadori Sapporo, whose home troubles continue. They've taken now only one point from their last four matches on home turf in the Dome. And these Sagantosu players will return with a point well taken away here against Hokkaido Contadole Sapporo. In a game between two mid-table clubs, it was a good open game, but not many shots on target across the piece. But both teams showed good efficiency in front of goal to make their two big chances matter. Asano and Kawahara, the scorers in this one all draw on J League match day 23. 
、えー、まあ出して動いてっていうのを繰り返して、まあ最後しっかり決めてよかったです。今日は厳しいゲーム相手に先制を許しました。どんな思い出だったんですか。えー、まあ先制されてまあちょっと流れもまあその後もあまり良くなかったですけど、えー、まあなんとかまあドローに持ち込めたっていうのはまあはい